and I came out here. This is a Cybrick system, which is a Siemens, basically a Siemens system panel. It's a pretty big panel, but it's got a ground fault on it. First thing I did was disconnect the NACs in case I accidentally set it off. Before that, I called and placed it in test, of course. Um, I come up here, looked at the wiring uh, for this device. I disconnected both legs of the SLC loop. It's feeding into here before I started messing with this. And I seen did my ground fault go away. ground fault went away it did so then I uh, stuck my meter to the individual legs of the individual zones to see I had one leg of my meter to the to the lug and I came down here and stuck one leg to a good ground source had it set to ohms until I found a dead short dead short was on this orange one I disconnected it and and double verified. I traced it out. It says water flow 17. They did a good job of labeling it with tape. But I still traced it anyway. Come up here. It goes to that gray wire right there. I traced it out. Comes up here this water flow. I want you to see where that resistor is. See how that one leg of the resistor is touching the metal, actually ground fall right there. So always tape up those resistors, guys. Either that or use ones that's got heat shrink around it. Or you can even make the ones with heat shrink. I would solder on two legs. See how they, they wire a little leg on there? They solder on the leg and they put heat shrink over the entire resistor and then come in and lay your legs down. Okay. That was pretty easy find. But I just figured that might help you guys out a little bit. So, um, also use deeper boxes. That's a pretty shallow box, shove all that in there. That'll cause ground faults a lot of times because it'll cut into the wire. But the panel's all normal now. Well, once I dis once I move that, it'll go all normal. Remember to like and subscribe. That lets me know if you like these videos or not. And post any kind of comments.